Yeah, I remember this ain't about. I'm not making fun of her. Just my, I remember my ex, like years ago, used to make fun of Mariah Carey, and I get it, and I, you know, the pop and the cheese, all that, but you know, you know, my, you know, what I'm saying, you know, she does a lot of maybe unnecessary shit, and uh, you know, masturbates a little bit with with the melody unnecessarily, as many of them type vocalists do, but uh, you know, no worse than Chris Aguilera and you know some of the others, but. She made fun of the, the the movements. It's like you know the the finger movements, and uh, just say, well, coincident coincidentally, one day I was walking up my driveway, and uh, uh, and I was you know I guess probably trying to do it low, not you know you know disturb the neighborhood, be heard, and uh, I moved uh, you know I, and so uh, singing low you know low volume any or you know vocalizing low volume anyways, and uh, so yeah, so it didn't have much hold on the air coming out i was about out of air and uh i was about to i could feel i was about to lose the the, the pitch the note so uh i just i don't know, kind of instinctively raised up my one of my arms and hands and made a, a slight motion and my vocal cords actually caught you know held on to the note you know just you know a coincidence or whatever like i don't i don't know how I don't know if that's why they do it or some of us do that but it's very relevant it's like because it was definitely you know saying you uh, it, it was losing it there was enough air there wasn't uh you know the, t the tension was going to be released I was losing the note that particular pitch and I made a small small movement very small and it it called it and held it until I was finished with the the expression and so I'm saying, you know, because there's, I just see so much, I didn't say necessarily obsession, obsession, but like, uh, you know, any instrument, like if you want to practice vocalizing and playing the instrument at the same time, you know, do that. That's a very, it's a very good exercise. And, you know, I do this for therapy anyways. I wouldn't even, you know, I, you know, I'd stop playing forever and then whatever. My guitar got kind of stolen, whatever and whatnot. But, you know, uh, my sister, uh, sister got me another, uh, got me a, a breed love guitar, you know, of all things. And, uh, and, uh, well, it's like, you know, I, I play for therapy, so, uh, that's, you know, so I don't know, uh, so, you know, I don't know if I'd be playing without it, so then I think that's, so, I guess what I'm saying is, uh, especially with acoustic guitar, and I hear this with violins, like the vibrations of the instrument probably help, probably help therapy-wise, so I'm not suggesting do not play and vocalize, sing, whatever, uh, I'm saying don't be ashamed to, like, set it down every once in a while, or you feel like, you know, it, with me, it's like my mind is like one's, you know, one's, if, you know, to recreate the the vocal line, which is actually has a message in it, uh, and even though I hate words for their limitation and their uh, complete, you know, uh, disregard for accuracy, you know, especially, you know, English with its, you know, I think English has been abolished at the moment. Uh, you cannot, uh, it's actually, you know, been used to like, lure our children you know uh you can have sex you know i think you know pimps can have sex talk right in front of their parents to a child practically now i didn't know the code i was unaware of it uh and, you know one of these things that everyone's aware of that i wasn't because that you know it talking about sex is silly to me uh how's this connected well i don't know i, I i'm a i'm a rent and rambler that's why I, I shouldn't do this and don't expect people to watch these things but i'm telling you this for like especially if you're doing it for therapy well you know, the thing is, in studio, it's like, it just it don't matter. Like, everything's cut, and then if, like, there's a mistake, it, even if it's just what the slightest mistake that's copy and pasted, and then, you know, because there's no, because you can, there's no reason, no reason to sell uh, an error to the public. It's like, you know, you have the ability to fix that with the ease, and that's what they do. And uh, if you're going to recreate something precisely, do the, the, the vocal melody. You know, fuck the guitar. I mean, fuck the instrument melody. That needs to be in the right key, the right cadence, or in the right, you know, signature. And I just noticed an ob obscene obsession with like, good, you know, as I mentioned earlier, uh, demonstrations of people spending like 30, 40 minutes on a song, like a little five minute song to give you every little intricate lick, which whether it, it might be the, it might be an, uh, you know, the, uh, the other, it might be the second guitar, you know, men did uh, blending with the first which you know you can't really recreate that in real time 
or it's something that was copy and pasted and uh, and corrected. And the and if it was done in a one take live sense, there's no reason to assume the artist ever performed that exactly the same way again. As I say, like, why would you create a roll down the hill or step in the same footprints of, of if you're walking in the snow, why would you step in the exact same footprints of of, of someone you've seen before you? Your gait's going to be different. Every, you know, it's like, uh, there, there's no, it's stupid as living. I just, it blows my mind how we keep doing this. Especially if people, they're like learning songs, people are doing vocals and playing the guitar at the same time, like, yeah, okay, why are you doing that? Either you're doing it to survive, to make a living, or to, it's, you know, that song gets you, there's a message in it. And what's important is, is the, uh, is the message. And, uh, fuck, use the guitar, you know, that's why I, I use the guitar, like me with the guitar, I would say, use that as, uh, not much just cadence, but, uh, more as, uh, percussion. It's like per percussion with tone. There's just way too much emphasis on recreating the exact, you know, licks that are like, you know, like I said, might be the second g guitar, you know, and just, it, it's, it's, it's ignorant as fuck. It allows for no diversity and expansion of the original uh, creation. It was a moment in time. It was, it was a, it was a, it was a picture. Like, it's just like taking a camera and trying to, re and trying to take the exact, like, you, okay, I'm going to take a picture of this tree and or I see a picture of a tree. I'm going to take my camera and try to get it exactly as the other is the picture I see. That's stupid as fucking shit. I mean, it's the most brain dead nonsense. And everyone that, that demonstrates uh, a piece of music on, on the internet, not everyone. You see people, some people like, you know, you, you see the real smart ones. And so, and they're some of the most, you know, they're the sloppy ones. They get right at it. They know, they get the, you know, the campfire essence of it. Yeah, it's campfire, motherfucker. Give me, I need the, the gist of it. I need to know what key it is and when and the cadence. And, I, you know, you take it from there because that's what it is. I mean, the instrument, it stays in a specific key. If you're going to recreate, if you're worried about melody precision, do that with the, the, the voice because that's much easier and you have full control over, you know. You, you know, you have, you have much more control of that than the instrument melody. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just, it, oh, how'd it go? So I've just ruined this message. No, and I know it's going to be listening by now. I had something to say, and uh, oh, good old, well, I guess they call it ADD, HD, D, 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 Asian D's, and what out of fuck. But uh, uh, I'm not good with, yeah, I'm not good with the concentration. I'm, I'm sorry. I, that's why I don't, you don't have to yeah, so move on with your life. I'm uh, not good with the concentration. Um, but, uh, it's just, um, uh, I don't know. It's just, just, uh, just a, uh, it's an obscene obsession with, with uh, creating pre precision that was never tended to. Uh, I've noticed with old, like, just I, I've been less kettle boxing years. I know it's like I listen to live versions of his Far Behind. That's so much don't try to recreate that original vocal melody whatsoever. Not even in the slightest. Which is, it's, it's weird. A lot of, uh, you know, with in in rock bands, it's usually the lead that they'll try to approximate the most because the rhythm kind of has can't vary that much, you know. But the lead, you know, they'll kind of probably approximate, but they don't worry about exact pro pro approximation at all. There's no reason to. They're playing, uh, it's in the key. They're playing the scale. So as long as they don't, they don't, they stay in the, the notes of the scale, they can, it can vary greatly and probably shouldn't. And some try to make it very greatly more than others. And I know for the uh, Candlebox singer, they like, he, it's like he tries to, to let that thing vary every time he performs it. So... I'm sorry. I, what was I even saying? <laughs> I, I, I had a original m message. And I don't even know what it was. Uh, oh, don't be afraid. I mean, the, I mean, the, like I'm going to keep doing it with a guitar. I, you know, uh, an uh, acoustic guitar. That's why I won't go back to electric guitar for shit. Uh, there's no, there's you know, no vibe. There's no box, no vibrating box. You know, for the sounds to vibrate in up against your body. So I'm not suggesting to. So that's why I do it. But if you're like getting frustrated with, uh, and, you know, you're worried about the message and, you know, your focus is on the vocal melody, which is much more important, and to me at least, much more important than recreating and any melody on any uh, stringed instrument, you know, whether it be piano, guitar, like that's much more important, much more relevant because that's what, I don't you know, because that's a song is, you, you know, the vocal, the, the, you know, the vocal melody is kind of like the lead anyways. We're obsessed with 
single note leads running scales in our music well that's what the, the vocals is also you know the, so uh, if you need to set down the uh, the your percussion uh, set it down and recreate your your you know your vocal melody you have a lot more freedom now if you're just such a badass that, that you can do both and it never you know never affect you like no I mean like I know so I can't like because there'll be something like if I can't move my hands I'm not gonna it's not gonna come out the way I want it to uh, is that a liability like I don't really care I'm just trying to tell you don't be embarrassed by looking like an idiot while you vocalize because I, you know, that's if it gets it done, who cares? Especially like if you're recording and no one's looking, or if you want to record something and no one, you know, I don't know why some people, so many people film their face while they record. Anyways, that kind of you know songs like I, I don't know. It's like they'll they'll they'll, they'll you, you'll you'll see their face instead of the guitar neck. It's like I'm trying to see what you're playing, dude, and I'm I'm looking at your fucking face. Like why, why do, you know, who wants someone looking at their fucking face? <laughs> I don't know. It just, I'm just saying, if you have you have a choice between, you know, you can tilt the camera down to where your hands are on the guitar neck, and I can hear your voice. I don't need to see your lips to to hear your voice. Um, yeah. I'm, but um, so the basic message is: do not be afraid to look like a lunatic to recreate or to express your vocal melody. That's do not look. Do not be afraid to look like a lunatic to to express yourself vocally.